So up next, we have Emma Kidney here, who many of you probably know, and it was a big part of this release party as well. All the design and beautiful assets you see around Hopin and on social media. Emma is probably one of the people who is largely behind those. So I will go ahead and hand it over to you, Emma, for you to share your contributor story with us today. Thanks, Justin. Um, I'll just, I made a little slideshow, so I'll just get that up. As you probably saw in the badges talk, <laughs> got a little preview. Um, cause I don't know how to, yeah. Um, so it was very nice hearing um, Chris's story. Um, I suppose mine comes from it at a different angle. Um, so for those of you who don't know, my name is Emma Kidney. Um, you can find my email there and also my matrix username if you'd like to get in contact. So first of all, I suppose I put together a little <laughs> slideshow about who am I. Anytime I do any of these um, slideshows, I kind of treat them like they're like a uh, curriculum vitae, like a CV. Um, so that's a bit about my educational background. I did an undergrad in visual communications, um, also known as graphic design. Um, after that, I would have went on to do a postgrad um, diploma in computer science. Um, for my career, I used to work in retail um, for throughout my college years and a bit afterwards as well. Um, I would have joined the Red Hat CPE team as an intern in July 2021. So as part of my higher diploma, they had a work experience module. So I applied to Red Hat for that. Um, and I got accepted, thankfully, and that's how I'm here today. Um, I was converted to an associate engineer in March of 2022. I suppose could come as a surprise to some people because I mainly do design work, but I was initially hired as software engineer or associate software engineer. Offline then, of course, I have my cat, <laughs> who my who is my life basically. <laughs> stage. <laughs> um, I also like to crochet and knit um, and I also like long drives so you can see a little picture of me here in County Kerry on the west coast of Ireland and then also of course my boyfriend then as well who I've been with for the last eight or nine years now. Um, yeah so that's kind of my life outside of online I guess. Um, yeah, so I put together a little slide. So I would have started as an engineering intern. So when I first started in July 2021, um, I was put on the infrastructure and release engineering team. And I would have kind of sat in on a lot of those meetings for the majority of my internship. Um, my first interaction with the design team would have been at Nest 2021. So I was kind of a month and a half-ish into my internship. I was still kind of figuring out the community. I was never kind of involved in um, an open source community before, so I wasn't quite sure how it worked. Um, so yeah, I spent a long time trying to wrap my head around that. But um, but yeah, I remember Mo Duffy, she was doing um, like a design session type thing at Nest, where she would have went through some of the tickets. And I remember I was like, oh my God, like, they have a design team like I can I can do this like I, I love design or whatever um, and give my background then as well of course I was you know I was really eager to kind of jump on that so um, after Nest I would have joined in on the design team and the first kind of big project I would have been a part of was the Fedora website revamp and um, it was already underway when I started I know Mo would have had done the workstation um, mock-ups um, and when I reached out to her to kind of get involved in something um, she asked me if I would like to do the Fedora IoT um, <laughs> huge project yeah <laughs> um, she asked me if I'd like to do the Fedora IoT um, front page so that was kind of my first big thing um, I included some little screenshots there and um, kind of of early ideas, iterations, and a very, very early mock-up there as well. Um, yeah, so now a designer. So I would have continued on that um, project for the next year. I didn't realize it would take 
I didn't realize how big the project was, I guess, um, until I started working on it. So I would have went on then to do um, the Fedora Cloud homepage, the Fedora server as well, kind of make the hero images for that. I did a lot of them in Blender. Um, and just kind of figured out a lot about open source design. And it was really interesting because throughout college, I would have used um, proprietary software but when I started in the design team, um, I realized a lot of the software that we use, I would have actually used before I would have started college when I was making um, Glee GIFs for Tumblr. <laughs> I used to use VLC Player and GIMP to make GIFs, so I could post on my Tumblr blog. So, <laughs> so it came full circle there. But, um, but yeah, so I was working on that project. It was kind of becoming more and more um, design based. My role, I mean, I was becoming more and more design based, spending more and more time on it. So then luckily um, at the start of 2023, kind of within the department I work in at Red Hat, they would have formed the community design team. So that consists of myself, Mo, um, Madeline. Um, so it became, you know, my full time job, which is amazing and I'm very lucky that I have that opportunity and um, I have a picture here as well of Jess Chittas so after um, I got kept on full-time I know they would have taken on another community design intern specifically designated to community design and that was Jess and then we also had Paul as well so you would have seen a lot of work from the two of them I know Jess and um, definitely seen her around some of the logos she would have created she also created Talor um, Paul would have done a lot of video editing work on the Create Freedom Summit videos as well as the last release party videos as well. Um, yeah, and I'm a member of many community teams now, Door Design Team, uh, the Accessibility Working Group, the DEI Team, um, I have out with the Marketing Team as well. Um, last year also got to help out with the Create Freedom Summit organisation, so that was if you haven't heard about that, that was um, co-founded co by Marie Norden. <laughs> um, so that was a really good project to kind of get involved in, see how an event is kind of how it comes together and as well kind of really proud of like the output and kind of what came as the work involved in that. Um, and also Fedora events such as this, the release party, um, Nest, Flock, um, all that good stuff. Um, I'd like to think I'm fairly involved now for someone who was very confused when she first started. <laughs> um, I also have a nice little slide here of my favourite event. And it's also my first event that I would have attended um, as part of the community. Oh yeah, I was meant to plug that, Marie, the call for proposal. Marie has the link in chat there if you'd like to submit a talk. Um, yeah, so awesome. Sorry. So I would have actually presented at the open source design dev room and um, the talk was the Create Fraud Creative Freedom Summit retrospective, kind of a review of the summit that happened at the start of this year. And um, I would have done that with Jess um, Chitab. So that was my first time traveling, I guess, as a Fedora um, community member. And I got to meet people in real life for the first time. I remember a core memory for me is when myself and Jess walked into the hotel and I was met with Justin and Vipul. And they were the first two people I remember I saw on that trip. And I remember it was just so weird to me seeing these people in real life. Um, yeah, and the sense of community there was unmatched. I, everything from being on the stand to the community dinner afterwards, the people there, it's just the sense of community it was just amazing and I don't think you'd get that in many places um, and it's important as well like the the wider fast connections that um, I would have made there as well kind of in the open source design space I would have met some folks from Penpot I know the guy who ran the who would have helped run the open source design room he's actually from the city I'm from so it's mad that I met this man who was from where I'm from but in a different country so it's just 
yeah, it's just great to kind of have all those um, connections and experiences. So very good. Would recommend being a contributor. <laughs> um, that kind of comes to the end of my little presentation I put together. So I'll stop sharing that for now. Um, okay, so I have a question from Justin. How did the experience of working in an open source community like Fedora compare to your experience in other communities? Was it easy or hard for you to get going in Fedora? I guess at the start, um, it was a bit overwhelming because there was so much to kind of wrap my head around. Especially because I would have never been involved in anything like that before. So it took me kind of a while to get adjusted. But once I got adjusted and um, it was great and everyone was so welcoming and helpful and um, yeah so it did take me a while but I'm happy happy I got through it and um, so Maria asked me who do you consider to be your mentors how do how did slash do they help you Um, I guess for me I know like I would have never had like a direct like an official mentor when I first started. I know at the moment I would have asked Madeline to mentor me, so that's something we're getting started. But um I know the likes of the people I'd look up to in the community would be Mo Duffy and yourself, Marie. Um and are both two prominent figures in the design sphere in Fedora. Um and I know I can kind of reach out to you both if there is any questions I needed. I know if I have anything kind of UX related, I can reach out to Mo. I am she's more than happy to help me and anything kind of badge related or event related, I can reach out to yourself, Marie. So like it it is very it is very welcoming. It's just getting over that fear, I think, of reaching out to people is what kind of um I have to overcome. I'm a very introverted person, so um kind of getting over that fear. And you're flying then basically um yeah so i don't have any other questions I feel, I feel a bit weird being up here by myself being honest or just in fact yeah <laughs> thanks thanks for sharing the story and those were some great great questions